this spreadsheet goes on for many, many, many rows, uh, many, many columns. And there's also um, several rows of information here as well. Sometimes when you're looking at this, it, it makes sense to be able to see these column headers, um, no matter if you scroll down or not. So when you scroll down, you want to know what that column's all about. Also, you want to see um, who the participant is while you're scrolling across to all these you know, hundreds of cells or hundreds of columns of data. So what you do is you simply click wherever you want um, the start of the freeze to be. So let's say we wanted to be able to see the participant number as well as the column headers. So I click on the cell where the participant numbers are on the left and the column headers are above it. And all we do is go up here to view within Excel and go down to freeze uh, panes and then click on this one here that looks kind of like what we're doing where you can see the little blue cell that's mimicking what we're showing on the screen so you click that and now when I scroll down instead of these um, headers going away they always stay on top of our data and same goes for the um, row basically the row headers that tell us who the participants are as I scroll across you can see that the participant IDs stay there at all times. And so this is a really handy way of looking at the data. And also, so I'm scrolled over to the right a little bit here, so the, um, the participant IDs are still there. And now I can, even when I'm scrolled to the right, I can scroll down and notice that the headers here don't go away. It's whatever the data that you're looking at, it tells you, again, what the subject number is and what the um, column data represents. All right, so again, freeze panes, super handy way of being able to look at your data when you have a very large spreadsheet, which is very common in research. So I hope that helped.